The real San Francisco treat is not rice aroni, it's actually chopino coming from Catch in Carmel by the Sea. This restaurant is absolutely stunning. So I am actually in a beautiful restaurant that feels like I'm in an underwater oasis. I love the jellyfish chandeliers. Even the, the ceiling look like they have ocean waves. And we're going to learn how to make chopino from my friend, Bashar. Nice to see Hello. you. Hello. Nice to see you. Nice yes. to have you. Yeah. Well, this restaurant is absolutely stunning. Thank I feel you. like I'm in this like underwater cove. And I wanted to know what inspired you to start a restaurant in the first place. You know, I actually, uh, when I was, I'm from Syria, when I was back home, I never had a background uh, oh. in, in, in restaurant business. I came here 2004 with no money, didn't speak any English, and I needed to find a job to survive and support family back home, starting gas station, and uh, I needed another job. I actually got into busboy, a being busboy in a restaurant. I, wow. I was in love instantly with it, because I love how, you know, the, the food brings the connection between people, and I love to take care of people, and I said, you know what, I'm just going to open a restaurant within five years. Three and a half years later, I opened my first restaurant and uh, found my passion. Amazing. You are the definition of an American success story. Now, I understand your first restaurant is really interactive. Can you tell us about that restaurant? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So it's called Demetra Cafe. Uh -huh. And that was my first one I started. And I, the inspiration came, I wanted to open a restaurant that feels like a living room in my Ooh. home. And I thought, what do I do in my home? Say, friends and family come, uh -huh. we take care of them, cook, dr drink, and play music. I play an instrument called an oud. Yes. So we dance along, and then we continue dining. So I said, I'm going to do the same thing. So I start every like hour or so showing up and just like start playing music and everybody play uh, dance with me and I disappear. And you disappear. <laughs> well, you're not going to disappear yeah. now because you got to teach me how to make chopino because yes. I can't wait to learn how to make this dish. Uh, of course. Well, for those at home that are watching that want to yeah. make it too, mm -hmm. what is the very first step that we so need? So the first step is actually, you know, like we have like the olive oil mm -hmm. that we start with and then we add some garlic. Some fresh garlic. Yeah, some I fresh love garlic. that. I'm already going to smell that yes, garlic and the olive oil. And you know, just toss a little bit and then eventually we're going to have, we have a selection of seafood. Ooh, here. okay. So based on, you know, what, what you like. So yes. We have salmon, we have shrimp, we have clams. So we, we kind of, you know, add them. So, and these are jumbo shrimp. These yes. are really beautiful. Yes, no, absolutely. And clams. And the clams. And, nice. you know. So these going to open up in so there. Exactly, has to open up. So we cook for a little bit, a little uh -huh. bit, you know. And then what we do, actually, we're going to add white wine. Nice. So white wine, not red wine. Because yes. this is seafood. We add obviously. white wine. And then we're going to have a clam base. A Ooh, clam I base. think that should be like the secret ingredient, the clam base. It adds that nice savory seafood flavor without it being fishy, Exactly. Right? Absolutely. Uh -huh. And then we're going to have some tomato sauce, homemade yes. tomato sauce. And we is, actually put up graphics, so if they want to make this tomato sauce at home, they can yeah. learn how to do that as well. And um, then we're going to add some water. Okay, this is you know, like, I'm already smelling it right now. It's an intoxicating yeah. smell. My goodness. Okay. Um, and we're gonna have basil. Ooh, some basil fresh basil. Can't be important. Italian without some fresh basil. And Absolutely. And then you know we have a Chilean sea bass and mussels that we add in the end because it has needs less time to cook. Okay. Um, well, let's talk about this dish now. Yes. Tell me a little bit of history of where Chipino came from. So Chipino, uh, uh, originally, it's, 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 it's an Italian. We cover, uh, for a second, we just cover this dish. So have it okay. cook for six, So it's going to cook, cook for about six minutes? So Chipino is an Italian-American dish that actually uh, started in San Francisco by the immigrant, Italian immigrants who came in late 1800. Mm -hmm. And some of them ended in San Francisco uh, working as a fisherman. And mm -hmm. these fishermen, you know, the poor fishermen coming in the end of the day. And, you know, they give all the, the good seafood to sell. And then whatever is left over like pieces here and there all the dishes that used to chip together and mm -hmm. put all these kind of leftover pieces and put tomato sauce and have the chipino well, that's where chipino came from well you make an exceptional chipino that rich tomato sauce really brought out the flavor of the seafood well thank you so much Bashad, for teaching us how to make this local dish and Jess, you have to understand that you cannot eat it truly like a San Franciscan without some cheesy bread to go with it. Oh. You have to like sop up all the juices and grab, you know, all the flavors in one bite.
And you Blanche, I just want to let you know mm, that mm, my mm, fancy mm. ham and cheese sandwich <laughs> that's waiting for me upstairs is Enjoy. looking really sad right now because that plate is what I want. I want Chopino, not my ham and cheese sandwich. Thank you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs>